Hello, Mary Meet. So, um, this is a video that's very hard for me to make, and which I've debated quite a few times whether or not I should make. I mean, usually I talk about fun things from the occult or book reviews, or even movie reviews, and talking about role playing games and all sorts of fun things. But there are some things about making videos and being on the internet in general that are not so fun. And um, that's bullying. And I get bullied quite a bit. And um, a question that I'm very often asked is, what the fuck is wrong with your face? So, yeah. Uh, it's not easy to be a woman and not be beautiful. Because... I'm not beautiful. I mean, it's up to debate whether or not I'm ugly, but by the current beauty ideals, I'm not it. So, and I mean, I, I laugh and I try to laugh it off. But it Of course, it at times makes me sad. But I wanted to make this video to tell you exactly what the fuck is wrong with my face. So that every time somebody asks, especially when they ask in a, such a pol polite way as exactly that line, which I've gotten quite a few times. Another favorite is, are you a fish? Perhaps they'll realize that, yeah, I have some issues with my appearance. This is why. And um, yeah. So this is going to be a bit different video, but yeah, let's start. You have my eyes. As you can see, they are very um, uh, bulgy. They are large and bulgy. So why are they like this? Because th this is clearly not how normal eyes look. Well, I don't know. 100% why, because I haven't checked this, but I know I have a condition where my, um, you know how joints are, I'm not completely sure what I, what it's called on in English, but basically joints, like for example, your shoulder joints or your joints, they generally sit like this, yes? In Norwegian it's called um, joint bowls. Balls as in what you eat from, yeah, joint balls. But you, if you say that, usually it sits like this. Mine, it sits like this. It's too shallow. There are two shallow joints. And a lot of people who have two shallow joints also have every other basically bone structure in their body too shallow, and that includes the eye pits. So. If we um, have a look at Harry the skull here. Now, this isn't exactly a <laughs> good replica because it's a cheap one that my husband brought home here the other day because he knows that I want skulls more than flowers. But if you look at Harry here, you can see the eye pits here. And the eyeball is supposed to sit in there. So, let me see if I can find something to be Harry's eyeballs. Uh, yeah, we have uh, some nail polish here. I think this will fit. No, it won't. Guess that plants out of it. Let's just do a little close up. If we say here, here, then it goes in so far. And then you have the whole band and sit completely in there. Well, my eyeball does we basically the bone here this well here that the pit isn't as deep so perhaps it only goes in so far so that more of the eye is outside of the socket and that's why they are bulgy that is most likely the cause now this is not something i have asked for it's just how I was born. And can I do something about it? No, I don't think there's an operation that can basically move how far back I have skull. Uh, but 
Even if it was, I have two functioning eyes. I see practically normally. Why would I risk A, weakening my skull so that trauma could get to my brain? Sort of need that. And also risk my eyesight just to look prettier. I'm not that vain. But anyway, uh, does it give me some issues? Yeah, it does. Because uh, the eyeballs are too big for the eyelids, so that when I sleep, very often the eyelids open. And apparently it looks quite spooky, because sometimes I'm just, because then I don't blink, and I just lie there staring like some corpse, or sometimes my eyeballs just follow people around the room while I'm clearly asleep, if I fall asleep on the sofa, so it's... I think it's a bit cool that I'm creeping when I'm sleeping. Is that strange? Anyway, so that, but anyway, since they open and I don't blink while I sleep, uh, it's very easy to get infections in there because when you blink, you wash the eye and replace that protective film over it. So, yeah, I mean, Gandalf sleeps with his eyes open, he doesn't have this problem. I do. It, the eyes don't, they, they dry out, which uh, makes me very prone to eye infections. Other than that, uh, I don't get a huge issue with it. I mean, like, not that far out that they, that they fall out or anything. I guess that if somebody wanted to gorge my eyes out, it would be a little bit easier than with your average person. But most people are not looking to gorge people's eyes out. So, yeah. And as you can see, I have an odd eye. It's, uh, it goes... It's an old eye. Uh, now, I have been the doctor for that. But, and I said that I should have double vision because I have it to such a pronounced degree. And I have had uh, operations for that, but it hasn't helped a lot. I had operations on this eye, I think. I, I was three years old when I got that operation. I don't remember exactly which eye. I think it's this eye that has it because you see it, it worked a little bit better. But I don't have double vision, I have completely normal vision. I shouldn't have that, but I have. So my mind compensates. Which give, makes me a little bit prone to headaches, but otherwise we're fine. So that's what's wrong with my eyes. Um, then we have, of course, a fat. Yeah, fat is the correct term. So why am I fat? Well. I guess there's some people that will never, ever accept any explanation. They only, oh, you're lazy. But I will try to explain for those that do have a brain. Well, of course, with everybody, when it comes to overweight. Yes. Uh, if you only look at the direct cause and effect, you consume more calories. Then you burn. However, what a lot of people fail to realize is that A, there's a huge difference between how many calories a person can consume uh, before they actually get issues with it, and B, there's a lot of reasons why people might eat too much. So I'm going to explain why I do. First of all, I have a very low metabolism. Uh, I have uh, some cysts on my ovaries, uh, which causes, um, have a tendency to cause uh, excessive hair growth. Well, mostly on the body. Uh, believe me, if I don't shave, I look like a werewolf. Anyway, I have that. And that causes also have a tendency to cause overweight. So that, well, I don't overeat enormously. Unless I am completely, basically checking the calories of everything I put in my mouth. I will get fat. Easy as that. So that's, that's a big contributing factor. 
Another contributing factor is that I have chronic depression. It's not easy to see when I talk to you on the internet because you don't see that. You don't see the person that have a problem getting up in the morning because it just feels, everything feels so pointless. And here's the thing, when you have that kind of depression, one of the few things that makes me feel good for a little while is eating. So it's very difficult for me then to take away that because then I fall even further down into depression. And also, here's the thing, when a lot of people believe that depression is feeling sad, because that's what people say all the time, say, I'm feeling so depressed when I'm feeling a little bit blue for a while. That's not depression. Depression can better be described as a lack of energy. When you feel just like everything's too much. Getting dressed and going and picking up the post is too much. And when I then have those periods, it's extremely difficult to make healthy food. So I'll have to do with basically the things that I can find that I just open it, put it in the oven, done. Because I don't have the energies to spend the time to make something from scratch. And then not only are those more calorie rich, more fat and so on, but I have a lot of food intolerances and I always then end up getting some sugar, getting some of the things that I am allergic to. And when my allergies are triggered, I gain weight. Even if I eat very leanly, when my allergies are triggered, I gain weight. And so it becomes a vicious cycle because I eat things I shouldn't eat because then my allergies are triggered and then my depression gets worse. And when my depression gets worse, I don't have the energy to do the cooking I should to make things from scratch to not avoid that. And then we have a vicious cycle and then, so yeah. That, and of course, yeah, I eat too much. I do. I have an issue with food. Just like some people have an issue with alcohol or, and some people have issue with drugs. I overeat. I comfort eat. I overeat. That's why I'm, I'm fat. So yeah. And then I guess we go talking about my nose. I mean, if I hadn't had the other issues, this would probably be completely fine, but with the other issues, this little button nose here, sort of, yeah. So, yeah, I look like a troll. If you, if you type in the images of Norwegian trolls, or better yet, go for the troll dolls. You know the ones with the hairs that stand up like that? Yeah, the troll dolls. I look like a troll doll. That's just the hand I've been dealt in life. And, yeah. Luckily, it seems to be quite a few people that like women that look like troll dolls. They like trolls. And so I work with that. I have gotten to the point where I am proud of myself. I'm completely fine. I like trolls. I like supernatural creatures. I really like trolls. I'm completely happy looking like a troll chatting. Troll chatting is the Norwegian word for a female troll. Kjæring is comes from their one. It's a word for woman, especially a woman, an adult woman. So you might say Kjæring me to say my wife. So troll Kjæring. Yes. I'm completely happy looking like that. Uh, I work with that. Uh, I feel that my, the way I dress, fit that. I then capitalize on the fact that I look strange and make that part of how I dress. I also think it's a little bit cool that uh, a lot of 
theories around aliens is that I have two shallow eye pits. Perhaps there's a little bit of alien in me. Such things makes me happy. But yeah, I look like a troll. I can deal with that. But I accept that by most standards. I am not beautiful. So yeah, then I have given a 15 minute in-depth explanation of what the fuck is wrong with my face. Happy now? Now, here's a little thing, because I'm going to use this video by... Every time somebody gives me that question, I'm going to link them to that video. So that they can actually get their question answered. And please be... I don't talk about here people that politely ask me... Why are your eyes like that? That, that? That's fine. But those that call you ugly, that says something and that a lot of horrible things that ha have been said to me. So yeah, before I finish this video, let me ask you. Why do you do it? Why do you come into my videos just to tell me I'm ugly? Why do you come and say, I'm so ugly, I should kill myself? Why do you, when you run out of arguments in a discussion, immediately attack my appearance? Do you think I don't know? I am not beautiful? Does it make you feel better about yourself to try to make me feel bad? Or is it that you feel lonely, that you feel so bad about yourself that you cannot tolerate me that has something that you see as a flaw, being happy about myself. What does it give you to bully me? I mean, yeah, sure, at, at times uh, it hurts me, but for the most part, I have accepted the way I look. I, like I said, I'm happy about looking like a troll. Like, it's fine. I'm the troll. I like supernatural stuff. But there's so many out there that have so much more of an issue with this. Why do it? Do you feel better about yourself by just hurting someone? And very often this is not people that I meet in an argument or something like that. They just randomly come into my videos and ask me. Are you a fish? Why don't you kill yourself? You're so ugly. Your husband have to be mentally retarded to be together with somebody that's so ugly. You're the ugliest woman I've ever seen. What does it give you to say these things? Does it make you feel stronger? Better about yourself to attack others like that? Because, because you aren't really. It just makes you seem weak. It just makes you seem like, yeah. Is it that you meet so many challenges in your life that you can't meet, that when you can attack somebody behind the mask of a nick online, so you don't have any consequences for it, you feel stronger? Because here's the thing. I, for the most part, don't give a shit. But there's so many people that do. And especially women like me who are actually ugly. It's it's one thing to call somebody who is pretty ugly because, yeah. But what if I had so many complexes around this that I spent hours crying after you said that comment? What if I actually went and killed myself when you said these things? Because people have done that from online bullying. Why would you want that? What makes you want to hurt somebody you have never met so much? Just because you can do it without any consequences. Is it because you are cruel? Perhaps you should work on yourself and figure out those questions. So yeah, that's the video. So yeah, it's time for this troll to and I'm not talking about internet troll, I'm talking about pure Norwegian troll here. To say, 
Toodaloo. Have a great day and blessed be.